since the testing systems are overwhelmed and uh, here in Ontario, for example, uh, there was also a change of the testing strategy and the case numbers are meaningless and it will really all now depend on uh, us understanding, you know, what the, the population did, you know, in terms of their mobility. This is still associated with contacts, how the restrictions will kick in and uh, we will need to see how this goes. For example, here in Ontario, end of this week will be re relatively important important to see where hospital numbers are going. The entire system is, of course, uh, very challenged. And uh, we, you then see all these, you know, different aspects. That's also really important, you know, for all those people out there saying, look, um, we can't be bothered anymore, you know, to do what we're doing here with the restrictions. What you need to be aware of is that this has negative implications impact on all the care we're talking about you know if our healthcare system gets overwhelmed because we struggle with the pandemic this also means that every other care is actually just you know endangered and we need to be aware of that right now is really unfortunate if you have a heart attack or so it's most likely the case you know that your care will not be the same anymore as it used to be only six weeks ago for example Remember also, for this part of the pandemic, vaccines do not, and that was also the original intention, protect against infection and transmission necessarily. They protect against serious outcomes.